We're gonna make something healthy. What if I told you there's a dish that I make a lot that truly helps me hit the reset button? Let's do it. Especially when it comes to healthy eating that doesn't suck. It's something I make if I or anyone is feeling run down. Prepare to be amazed by how delicious this super green veg soup is. Not only satisfying my taste buds, and trust me, I have picky ones, but also nourishes my body and gut from within. Packed with vibrant greens like broccoli, peas, courgette, and yes, even kale, this soup is a nutritional and filling powerhouse. In today's video, we're unveiling the secrets behind this incredible recipe that's bursting with flavor first and nutrients. Whether you're craving a fresh start or end to a week, or simply seeking a bowl of pure, wholesome, feel-good goodness, this soup has got you covered. I can break this down into three parts. The prep and steam sauteing, seasoning, roasting, and souping, combining and serving. And since we won't be adding any oils, sugars, and keeping the salt to a minimum, there's a couple key techniques to make sure this is a big success. In the first one, you'll see earlier that we were cubing the potatoes, putting them into water, and bringing them to a boil. This is gonna blanch them so they're soft on the inside, and then we're gonna roast them and create that crispy texture on the outside, kinda like a potato crouton. For the mirepoix, I'm gonna be using onions and celery, and then with the addition of broccoli stems, the stems and stalks from the broccoli. All a mirepoix is, is the beginning of a soup, sauteing the chopped vegetables, and that's gonna be the base and foundation. And because I want this to be a green soup, I'm keeping everything green or white. There's no carrots and no other colored vegetables in this, because I want that healthy, vibrant green pop to it. And we're using every bit of the vegetable. So outside of the skin, I just dismembered the broccoli stem, took the skin off, chopped that, added it with an onion and celery. For the florets, I'm gonna be taking off the branches and just leaving the florets or the leaves, whatever you want to call them. And the florets, we're going to be setting them aside. Stocks, we're going to be adding those to the mirepoix to get this foundation of the soup built. For the garlic, we're just gonna peel them and leave them whole. So unless you wanna practice your knife work and mince them and chop them, just leave them whole because we're gonna be blending it. The hard part's done. All the chopping and mirepoix is complete. Give yourself a pat on the back. Cause now we're just gonna start building the soup. We're gonna kick off with doing a little bit of steam saute, heat up that pan, add the mirepoix, so that's just the onions, the celery, the broccoli stems. And then I had an extra courgette in the fridge, zucchini for my US friends. I'm just gonna give a quick rough dice, big chunks of this and add it right to the pan with the rest of the mirepoix. Saute it up. You notice I didn't add any oil at all. I'm just gonna let that sit on the pan, get used to it, stir it frequently so it doesn't stick. And a quick check on the potatoes, just check for doneness. I'm looking for fork tender. I don't want to overcook or undercook, so al dente. So after sauteing the vegetable for a couple minutes, I'm gonna start seasoning. A little bit of onion granulated, a little bit of garlic granule. The biggest mistake I see other people cooking with no oil, sugars, or salts is the lack of seasonings and lack of cooking them. I can't eat hippie food. I have to have layers of flavor for me to eat. So with the steam saute, I'm just sauteing the vegetables with no oil and then adding a little bit of liquid here and there just to provide very lucrative feel where you can move it around saute it, it still gets that caramelized color, and then at a certain point I just add more liquid. Get him, Frankie, get him! Since we're making the soup, I'm gonna layer flavors. So we first seared the vegetables, add a little bit of seasoning while sauteing, add a little bit of water, deglaze the pan, add a little bit more liquid. Here I'm using a liter of veg broth along with the water I added from the potatoes, a couple fresh bay leaves, I got them from the backyard, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper and bring that to a boil. With the potatoes, I strained them into a separate bowl and saved that water because we're gonna add it to the florets. Pop the garlic cloves right into the soup. Once strained, I'm gonna spread the potatoes onto a baking sheet so they cook evenly. The excess hot potato water, I'm gonna use that to blanch the broccoli florets. And quick preheat the oven. Lower the heat on the soup to a simmer, and then I'm off. Let's go get some kale from the garden. Hi, babe. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, you're so beautiful.
light dusting of seasoning on the potatoes with the onion, garlic, smoked paprika, and black pepper. And then I like to mix in a good sized tablespoon of Dijon, spread them back out evenly, and pop them in the oven. While those are roasting, I'm just gonna quickly shred up the kale, pick the thyme. I'm not too concerned about the size because this will be blended. And roughly, it's probably about a half of a bunch that I used to buy in the States. If you don't like kale or don't wanna use it or don't have access to it, you can use baby spinach, regular spinach, or any kind of green. Now with the kale or any green that you do add, I'm not trying to cook this fully. I just want that color to pop. And then I'm gonna add it right to the blender and we're gonna blend it. What I find a lot of people do is they overcook it and then the soup comes out like this putrid green split pea color that I'm not a fan of. I want things super bright and vibrant and I know it'll taste delicious. I add the thyme at the very end when it's on the blender and then I have a cup of frozen peas, add that, and then I'm adding the plant-based milk right to the blender. Now here's where I have to be super careful because I've messed up before where it's gone all over the ceiling is make sure the blender is off. Then add the cover and cover the hole with the towel on top. That'll help prevent it from going all over the place. And then I also keep my hand on it. Start it off low, flip it up to high, switch back to low, take it off, add the soup right back to the pan. And on a simmer, we'll finish up roasting the potatoes and we're almost done. Quick taste test, see if it needs anything. Nope, it's perfect. I'm gonna add the florets here for the last 10 minutes just to get that brown charring flavor I want and the crisp on the potatoes because I want those potatoes to be like a crouton except no gluten, no bread. We're just using whole foods today. And these are perfect. I could go for a darker color. If you want more flavor, just leave them in for an extra five or 10 minutes. These are perfect and I'm starving. Couple quick ladles, bowl it up. One tip, hold the ladle from the middle. You'll have much more control. I see too many people grabbing it from the very end. It drives me nuts. Here's where you can have fun with the garnish. I like adding everything on a pile to the side, make a half moon crescent shape and then moving it to the side because I'm gonna add chili peppers. Now this is optional. I like spicy, it feels good, it wakes me up. It's like having a cup of coffee to me. Delicious and it's healthy, which is the theme of today. Add a little bit of cracked black pepper and I'm adding salt to the end. I didn't salt it at all going in here. There was enough sodium in the low sodium veg broth. This is delicious. I got the crunchy toppings, potatoes, super delicious, super wholesome, exactly what I needed. I ate this for the next couple days along with juicing. And I feel great. I hope you get to try this and see for yourself. Don't be scared of the green color. I know when I was a kid, I didn't like anything green, but now I'm an adult, I know better. Leave you with her. Give me another pop. I take her out for a walk. Give me two pops. Jump in the river. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will see you soon. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate you. Ricky.